Many people don't understand the impact the condition your teeth and gums have on the rest of your body. It's not limited to simple cavities. What happens in your mouth can cause damage to your entire body. Virginia Pryor of Pontiac says she wasn't even feeling sick. I had an earache. But that changed overnight. Tried to get out of bed and go to the bathroom. Couldn't stand up. Her husband called 911. This was a Saturday night. The next day I remember was a Wednesday morning. I was in ICU for on life support for four days. She had an enormous battery of tests, but the only thing wrong was an infection around one tooth. You would think that one little tooth would not take your life, but it almost did for me. Southfield periodontist Dr. Joe Nemeth says people often underestimate the importance of oral health. This infection can end up in various parts of your body causing really severe problems and some people have actually died from gum or tooth abscesses. Periodontists specialize in treating the gums and other areas around the teeth. Recently, they're seeing a dangerous change in how much attention people are paying to their dental health. The economy is causing people to compromise their oral health, their dental health. In addition to screening for cavities, checkups and cleanings identify areas between your teeth and gums called pockets. And this is one time you can't afford to have deep pockets. These areas accumulate bacteria-filled plaque, and if it's not removed, you will eventually lose your teeth, or worse. There are links between this gum disease and conditions that affect your entire body. Heart disease, stroke, diabetes, cancer, lung problems. Now there's a relationship apparently between rheumatoid arthritis and periodontal disease. This microscope hooked up to the video monitor shows the huge number of moving bacteria found in a pocket under someone's unhealthy gums. The connection your gums have to the rest of your body is so important, Dr. Nemeth regularly fixes gum disease before other procedures are done. Patients who are having prosthetic replacements like hip replacements, knee replacements, those patients very often need to be cleared. Everyone is at risk, but periodontal disease doesn't strike everyone equally. If you have a family history of tooth loss, then you're going to be at higher risk. People with diabetes, smokers, and anyone with autoimmune problems, including arthritis, are also at higher risk. Nemeth warns. Periodontal disease is a slowly progressive, insidious, painless disease that patients usually don't know is going on. By the time the problems are obvious, tooth loss is often around the corner. Brushing and flossing are essential. The bacteria lodge between the teeth. You've got to clean those areas between the teeth thoroughly. Water pick can be helpful to flush out bacteria and food particles from between the teeth. But even if you're taking care of your teeth at home... Sometimes you just have to bite the bullet, and even though you're suffering financially, you've got to try to make it to the dentist, because dental health is now so important to general health. After her brush with death, Virginia would never dream of neglecting her teeth. I don't miss any of that stuff now. I can't afford to. Now, the first sign you have gum disease is bleeding, even when you're brushing your teeth normally. As it gets worse, your gums will shrink, making your teeth look longer, and eventually the bone weakens and they'll fall out. There are treatments to reverse some of this, but only if you see a dentist. Back to you.